How's it going guys? My name is Donnie Kelly Currens and today we are joined by a very special animal guest, the world's smallest crocodilian, that being the Cuvier's Dwarf Cayman. Now, I work at an alligator park and people see the baby alligators all the time and want one as a pet. Getting a pet alligator is terrible, it gets way too big, but these guys are becoming more and more popular. They only get to about four to five feet long, so people think that they're gonna be a great pet, just the perfect mix of a baby alligator and a dog, pretty much. That is a terrible idea. As you can see, even at this size, look at that mouth, it wants nothing more than to bite me. And even at this stage, it is gonna draw massive blood, just ravage your finger. Highly do not recommend these guys. We're gonna to talk to you about their life history, some cool facts, and why they make terrible pets. But let's put this little guy away and get a full grown one. So this right here is the adult Cuvier's Dwarf Cayman. And believe it or not, they get even bigger than this. So even if you get the world's smallest crocodilian, it's still gonna be a decent sized animal. Now, as you can see, this one is not trying to bite me as much as that little hatchling. And that's because owners have worked with it throughout this animal's entire life dedicated a ton of time to get her as calm as she is today. So let's go over some of the cool features this animal has. As you can see, it has that gorgeous coat, really unlike any other crocodilian. It's so dark and then on the jaw has those gorgeous white stripes. If you look a little further up, you'll see those eyes. They're huge and very dark colored, which is rare among crocodilians. So the Cuvier's Dwarf Cayman is native to South America, around the Amazon area, and being so small, you can imagine that it's on the menu for a lot of different animals. So things like jaguars, anacondas, even some of the large fish down there are gonna wanna bite at this guy. So they have quite a few defenses to help himself. Number one is gonna be this incredible armor. Now I've held a lot of different crocodilians, but this animal is by far the most well armored. As you can see on its neck, it has these huge scoots and even the belly is armored. Even his eyebrows are armored, which gives him sort of a menacing, fierce look. And underneath those eyebrows, you're gonna find those gorgeous dark colored eyes. And this caiman's eyesight is incredible at night. This is an entirely nocturnal creature because it's trying to avoid those larger predators during the day. It needs as much help as it can get. So it's gonna hunt at night, use those super reflective eyes to try and find anything it can fit in its mouth, especially fish. Now you look at the teeth on this guy and they are super sharp and needle-like. It has teeth sharper than an alligator and why that is is because it's targeting fish. It needs to grip a hold of that slippery prey, stop it from struggling. And so that means the bites from these guys are gonna be horrific. Even from a small one, it's just gonna open up your finger before you even feel it. And another thing about these guys is that when they bite you, they aren't gonna roll like most other crocodilians. They're gonna shake their head back and forth like a pit bull. So one pretty average bite, the second this guy shakes his head is gonna be a huge loss of blood and a lot of tissue damage. So the risk of owning an animal like this and getting into an accident is very high. So another cool feature about this guy are its feet. Now, as you'll see, they aren't webbed and Alligators, crocodiles, and a lot of other caiman have webbed feet. So the reason this guy doesn't is because he's gonna spend a lot of his time climbing on the trees and branches. The Amazon River isn't super muddy, so he doesn't need to stand on the muddy bottom as would an alligator or a crocodile. He's gonna be crawling over submerged branches and stuff like that. So overall, the Cuvier's Dwarf Cayman is an awesome animal, the smallest crocodilian in the world. And if you're in the market for a baby alligator, you should really rethink that and instead get one of these. But if you do decide to get one, you really need to do your homework, work with it since it's a hatchling, so it's nice and calm like this guy. And so that means you won't run into those accidents because if this guy bites you, it's definitely a trip to the hospital. But anyways, we're gonna put Ollie here back in her enclosure here at Gator Country. And I'd like to thank you all so much for watching the video. I hope you guys learned a lot and make some educated decisions upon buying your next pet. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.